hey everyone this is munir here from green Bug hub so in this tutorial we'll try to uh, solve this uh, users uh, problem which uh, which is being asked to on our wordpress gutenberg community on facebook so the problem or uh, the workaround he is looking for is to display pages and posts simultaneously on a page so if you are aware how the query loop block works it allows you to select a single post type to uh, fetch and display your content um, either you can select posts or pages so let's try to resolve this i've actually uh, already figured out how it works and as you can see now this uh, query loop is showing my page and post i've just displayed title for the demo purpose and i'll show you how uh, to do this very quickly so it requires you to install two free plugins uh, which are one is advanced query loop which is this one by rayan uh so make sure you install this one it will allow us to basically query multiple post types so this is the feature we want from this plugin so uh it it, it in 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 addition to post type uh post we can select pages as well uh, by using this feature the second one is to create and assign categories for pages so so basically uh we also want to assign categories for uh, pages just like we do uh, for posts so this is the plugin that will handle uh, this functionality for us so now uh, i have some dummy pages and i have this option new option provided by this plugin uh, so i've assigned the same category one two and three to some random pages and similarly i have some dummy posts and i've assigned the same category one two three to some random post as well so for the post the functionality was already in wordpress as you as we all know but for the pages this category assignment feature is being added by this plugin as i showed you uh, right now so once both uh features plugins are installed and you have assigned the specific categories for each post and po a page you want to uh, fetch and query so just go to a page and then i'll delete this one so what you can do is you can search for query and make sure you use you do not uh, get take the default query loop block but this time we need the advanced query loop which we which is available being added by the plugin we have just installed so just take this and then uh, click on the start blank uh, because if you click on the choose a template and select one of this template this will basically convert the query loop to the normal query loop let me show you uh, for example let's say we want this layout so if i select uh, you'll notice that this is no more the advanced query loop uh, block because it has been the, the template was uh using the query loop block so one thing you can do try is to transform this to advanced query loop and the other thing would be to start blank so this this is also fine you can transform this just make sure you are seeing the aql symbol here and thus using the advanced query loop instead of the normal query loop block so now uh the option we need uh by the way you can uh, as you may aware you can make the design as you want using the blocks and features available in the query loop and this advanced query loop block also utilizes the same uh, code base and features uh, that are available in the normal or default query loop so uh, just it just have an additional panel here and which is what we need so uh from the main block make sure you uh, you select uh, it, just disable this option uh, inherit query from template if you are not using it on a template so just disable it if you are using it on uh, fsc you can uh, keep it active so uh, in the default settings panel you can select either one of the pages or post post type uh, i'll keep it to post and then i can also um, 
add additional filters here to uh, which are here to for taxonomies and I will select let's say I need a uh, cat one which is my one of the category so as you can see we have a post here which a uh, three posts I can also change it to 10 actually so but the this category has only three posts so it's showing you the three posts here the second thing is uh, we need to go to this advanced query uh, settings and then here it says additional post type here you need to define your original post type just click on it and it will show you available post types in our case we need page so i'll pick the pages so now um as you can see we have page two and a post then page one and a po two posts and then page three now if i go and show you page one two and three are assigned to category one which we have applied uh set using the filter here as you can see so uh, as you can see page one is assigned to character one page two is also and page three is also if i uh, set uh cat two then you will see that um the post will be changed uh, because it fetches i'll remove cat two so you can see page six page 4 and page 5 similarly these posts are also being filtered correctly uh, based on the category selected here so this way you can easily display your uh, pages and posts simultaneously within one query loop on a page or any page and uh, you can further customize the layout as you wish hope this uh, tutorial, is, tutorial is useful for you and please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to get notified with more such tutorials thank you